Hello everyone. My name is Gabriella Hurt and I'm the creator of Storied Bodies, a collection of paintings and related sculptures depicting abstract human forms in movement and relationship. You can see a lot of dynamic people in my work, all of them without face detail, because it is the honest expression of the body I'm interested in. Narratives are unfolding, sometimes several in one piece, stretching over layers of history and possibly multi-generations. My stylized people might be antagonizing, yet you will find that they have more in common than not. This is expressed in the similar fabric they're made of, the limited colors, the dark marks, the line work just like we are all akin in our humanity. You might say there is a lack of skin in my figures, laying bare the vulnerability and woundedness of victim and perpetrator alike. Storied Bodies is exploring indigenous settler relations from a very personal, experiential and body-centered view. I am a German-Canadian who only fairly recently discovered that one of my ancestors was a perpetrator in the Nazi regime committing crimes in the Holocaust. This finding sparked an ongoing exploration in my art, leading me to wanting to unpack my own biases and ignorance in particular transform my identity as a white settler living on stolen land here in Canada. Drawing on the work of somatic abolitionism by black American author Resma Menikem, my paintings and sculptures offer interpretations of this self-inquisitive path and practice. Resma teaches us how to play, pay close attention to our bodies to overcome age-old discriminative programming. You can see that my paper mache sculptures live in direct communication with the paintings. My intention is to have the bodies come alive, moving out of the 2D plane of the paintings, blurring the perception of the viewer as to where insider ends and outsider begins. The question I'm interested in is how do stereotypes rooted in the cultural learning each of us grew up with inform our ability to connect to each other? With this series, I want to invite us to get curious about unconscious memory how it manifests in our body and drives our reactions to others.